when we wrote map earlier, we were transforming each element of a list. That meant that the list didn't change in length. We just changed each element of it. In some sense, each element was treated independently in that list. Suppose you didn't just want to look at list elements independently, but you wanted to combine them together. Here's a couple examples of that. Suppose you wanted to sum all the elements of a list together. That's combining all of them. Suppose you wanted to concatenate all the elements of a list together. That's another way of combining. Those are two simple functions that I bet you could write really quickly right now. Let's do it. Again, you might notice a lot of commonality between these two functions. In the first line, the only thing that's different is their names. In the second line, the only thing that's different is what they return is the base case. In the third line, the only thing that's different is what they apply as an operator in between the head and the result of the recursive call. So the abstraction principle says, let's factor out repeated code. Here, let's factor out the idea of combining a bunch of list elements together into a function that pattern matches against that list. If it's the empty list, we need to return some sort of base case here or some sort of initial value. OK, so let's have combine take in that initial value as an argument. And then in the case uh, that we have a head and a tail for the list, what do we need to do? Well, we need to combine the head together with the result of the recursive call on the tail. So how are we going to do that combination? Once more, let's take in a function that tells us how to do it. So we'll take in some operation, or op, I'll call it here. And that operation will be used to combine the head element h together with something else. And that something else is the result of the recursive call of combine on the tail. Of course, we've added two other arguments to combine at this point, so I need to add in init and op as well. OK, so now I have combine, and I can rewrite sum and concat in terms of it. Sum prime of a list could be combine. Now, of course, we want to apply it to that list, but we need two other arguments in the middle here. We need the initial value and the operator to use to combine the elements of the list. The initial value is going to be 0. That's what we returned in the base case for sum originally. The operator that we use to combine elements, well, it's just the plus operator provide that there using that notation that allows us to pass uh, to treat uh, infix operators as functions. It's very simple to write concat in this way as well. We're going to combine starting with an initial value of the empty string and using the concat operator to do the combination. So there you go. We've factored out the common code of combining elements of a list. And now all that remains for the implementation of those two functions is just to identify the particular pieces that were special to them, the base case and the combination offer. The code that we just wrote for combine is the essential idea behind a OCaml library function, actually a couple of functions, known as fold. And fold is a close cousin of reduce.